All praises to the Most High Yah. This is Black Ice. And this video is more of a rant, a message to the new black media, and to just black people in general. As you all know, Akis and I pretty much stopped broadcasting over a year ago. We took our efforts offline because we felt like at this point, you either get it or you don't. This wise man and poet from Memphis once said a long time ago, don't save her, she don't want to be saved. And with that, I'm not going to overwork myself to try to save the world. Personally, I think voting is just a way to give us the illusion of choice, to prevent chaos and rebellion. The elite choose the leaders, and let's be real, this country is essentially ran by the small hats. So as long as black people believe in the corrupt American system, there will be no results. And I wouldn't trust anyone that do, and that includes anyone in the new black media, because I believe freedom can only be achieved by the same way they took it from us, by force. You can't vote yourself out of oppression. You can't peacefully demand your oppressor to stop deleting you or stop treating you like a second-class citizen. You have to force them to stop. And as long as we still believe that we can peacefully get what we want, nothing's going to change. As long as we still love this country and its ways, nothing's going to change. And unfortunately, most of us still don't get it. Hell, we're still offended by the Confederate flag and not the American flag. We should be offended by both. Now, that's how my chat, the Confederacy only lasted what? Five years? Only five years. The other 395 years of oppression was done on the witch flag? The American flag. And you think I should take pride in that? Believing in your vote for president is a waste of time and resources. I have yet to see any president or any black politician that has done more for the black community than the Black Panthers. And please don't tell me John Lewis. I've never seen a man benefit so much from an ass whooping. He built a career off of it. But to want real change, you have to be disgusted with this country and this culture. All the people that have made an impact in history, regardless if they were good or bad, did it because they were pissed, not because they were happy or content. You have to be uncomfortable and pissed to desire real change. You can't love America and want change. And most of you don't really want change. You just want better plantation conditions. I still remember the backlash when we questioned what's his name of? Marcel Dixon. Right? Black people were loving him, but I smelled right through it. Me and the keys both. His reparations plan was severely flawed because he loves America. He never wanted to flip tables. He wanted a seat at the table. That's no different from Jay-Z working with the NFL. The same goes for Tariq Nasheed, pastors, and any other so-called black leader. That preaches that we can get what we want and deserve without turning this place upside down. That's why I don't listen to any of them anymore. None of them. After all these years, all you have is a few half-assed documentaries and a fake museum, if it's still open. And have you noticed in most of these reparation discussions that they only mention money and not power? You mean to tell me you still want to live under the current system, you just want more money? Do you know what it looks like? Let me tell you, you're still a slave. You're just a rich slave. You can look at any black celebrity and see that. Look at LeBron. Ask him about China and see what he says. Is that what you want? And some of you are so blinded by these discussions, do you realize that the dollar is about worthless? The Bible actually shows you what reparations really look like. It's money, resources, and your own land to govern yourselves. You start changing yourself by only asking for money. In the oppressor's currency, that's worthless. We start broadcasting the black narrative because everything's happening right now. We literally broadcasted it three years ago. We saw this coming. We showed you evidence of it. Tons of articles and videos supporting our claims. We did multiple broadcasts showing you the illegal immigration play to replace us. America is executing a four-point play to replace us. Number one, illegal immigration. Number two, technology, AI. Number three, the voluntary deletion of babies. Number four, the alphabet agenda. And sadly, most of us probably voted for most of this and plan to vote for it again in November. Hillary Clinton was at the DNC last week telling everyone Kamala Harris cares about families. They literally right outside the venue. Planned Parenthood had a van parked outside, hand out free abortion pills and vasectomies. And a couple weeks before that, Meg Thee Stallion was here in ATL talking for Harris. They're playing on our faces, and we still don't get it. That's why we start broadcasting. To put it simply, America is powerful because of its population and technology. 
We have allies, quote unquote, because of our position, not because they love us. Most people around the world are really disgusted with us. They tolerate us because they're not strong enough to defeat us. Yet. But black America, that day is coming. We haven't won a war in decades. Army recruitment numbers are at an all-time low. The state of Israel is even drafting its most religious people to fight. Numbers are low everywhere. So if you are self-deleting babies in the name of women's rights, promoting same-sex relations, frown upon nuclear families, how will this nation sustain itself? How will you continue to enjoy the luxuries of America? Immigration. And not just America. Every first world nation is having that problem. Because with the best technology, numbers still matter. What would the population look like in 20, 30 years? America is declining rapidly, and other nations are on notice. BRICS is watching. Our so-called allies are watching. Because every first world nation wants the top spot. Look at the state of the country today. High inflation, houses unaffordable, the cost of food went up so much. Hell, it was only three and a half years ago, I was able to get a 10-piece lemon pepper wing combo with fries and a drink for about $10. These days, that price has doubled. For $20, I better hear the damn chicken clucking when I place my order. You gotta be fresh fresh. Just the other day, I went to a Jamaican restaurant. I had a taste for a side of rice and peas. You know, it usually only cost a couple of bucks. It is rice and peas, right? Bruh, the cashier told me it's now over $6 for a side of rice and peas. $6 for some damn rice and peas. Will y'all expect me to go to the polls and vote for more of this? Seriously? And I'm not saying this as an endorsement for Trump either. They're all trash. And every single person that holds the office of the White House is wicked. You can't be the good guy and be the leader of the free world. This nation was built on evil. You have to be morally bankrupt to be in that office. And Keith and I told you many times before, we are living in the end times. If you don't believe in the Bible, do you? But it's right there in Revelation what happens in the end. Spoiler alert. The American Empire falls. That's not something you will hear in Sunday church. They quit to avoid reading it, distract you with song and dance, make you feel good, while this world is going to shit. So I'm not going to waste my time telling you who to vote for or what tangibles to demand. I'm going to tell you the best advice that none of the new black media are telling you. Prepare yourselves in your household, because things are about to get crazy. Stock up on food, supplies, and protection. We know the government hates us. We know the government doesn't care about us. So why do we continue to depend on them when shit hit the fan? When are we going to learn to be proactive and not reactive? Anyway, I just want to take a minute to say we appreciate y'all. We appreciate that y'all still like to hear from us and, and our point of view. I hope you enjoyed this rant. Uh, like the video, share it, and let us know in the comments. Praise y'all. Be blessed. Shalom.